Now come to the next question that is 12th why would leg gene right why would that leg z gene be fused to coding sequence of chain a and chain b in plasmids of the e coli right that is the escherichia coli and we uh, know that what is first we have to know that what is that leg z gene right see that leg z encodes the beta galactosidase right that leg z encodes the beta galactosidase which is an in intracellular enzyme right which is an intracellular enzyme and uh, that cleaves the disaccharides lactose into the glucose and the galactose right when we talk about that beta galactosidase which is also called the lactose or beta gal or beta gal right which is the family of the glyco uh, glycoside hydrolyzed enzymes right and that catalyzes the hydrolysis of the beta galactosides into the monosaccharides through the breaking of glycosidic bonds so actually these beta galactosidase is present on the lysosomes right and what are the lysosomes these are the membrane bound cell organelles right so simply that lac y encodes the beta galactosidase uh, permease right a transmembrane supporter that pumps the beta galactosidase including the lactose into the cell right using a proton gradient in the same direction so so what will happen uh, what is the function of that so it helps in the selection of the recombinant actually right it helps in the selection of the recombinant so the answer is help to reform the blue insulin which is more effective no right helps in selection of recombinant yes right help in oral administration of insulin no right because we cannot administer uh, insulin orally why just because uh, be uh, insulin is a peptide right insulin is a proteinaceous structure and as we know that in our stomach protein digesting enzymes proteolytic enzymes pepsin and renin is present and pepsin is the strongest endopeptide is because it can break the bonds between the tyrosine tryptophan and the methionine right which are the typical kind of the amino acids right so that's why we cannot ingest the insulin orally that is also the question of free medical right so answer is two right come to the next question which enzyme was targeted during the first clinical gene therapy given in 1992 a four years old girl that is the exact lines of the ncrt actually right the name of that enzyme is the adenosine deaminase that is in short we know it as ada deamine d -ad oh, sorry adenosine deaminase right see here that is the exact line of the ncrt right the first clinical gene therapy was uh, given in 1990 to a four years old girl with adenosine deaminase deficiency right this enzyme is crucial for the immune system to function right so this disorder is caused due to the deletion of the gene right that disorder is caused due to the deletion of the gene for the adenosine deaminase right for the adenosine deaminase so in some children ada deficiency can be cured by the bone marrow transplantation right in others it can be treated by the enzyme replace replacement theory right in which the functional ada is given to the patient by the injection right in which ada is given to the patient by the injection so this is that ada that is d uh, adenosine deaminase deficiency right so the answer is a oh, sorry uh, so the answer is four that is d that is adenosine deaminase right come to the next animals that had their dna manipulated to possess and express an extra gene are known as right 
actually they are known as the transgenic animals right they are known as the transgenic animals as we uh, when we split that word trans and genic right that means generated what does it mean that means we can uh, we manipulate the dna of that animal right so what is that transgenic animals this is actually that is the exact line of ncrt what will happen right uh, uh in any animals dna right when we integrate a uh, extra gene or foreign gene of the required trait right then the animal after that the animal form that is called the transgenic animal right after that the animal is known as the transgenic animal right so the transgenic rats the rabbits the pigs sheep cow fish they have been produced all over 95% of all existing transgenic animals are the mice this is the question of pre medical right because the uh, system of mice is uh, uh, it's uh, it resembles more resemble with white mouse right uh, it more resemble with the human right and uh, easily observable clear so these are the transgenic animals when we implement or when we add an extra gene in the dna of that particular animal right so now come to the next that is about what percentage of all existing transgenic animals are mice it is given in ncrt page number 212 uh and uh, 12.3 heading right that is we already studied here that 95% transgenic animals are the mice right so the answer is the 2 clear we already discussed it we already discussed it right come to the next if a probe right and what is that probe what is the meaning of that probe see here that is the radioactive molecule right that is the radioactive molecule is known as the probe is made radioactively labeled as double stranded dna and is allowed to hybridize to uh, to its complementary dna right in a cloned cell formed by formed by detecting using auto radiography right which one of the following is considered wrong for the given statement actually uh that is uh, uh this is the exact line of the ncrt which is given in page number 212 right and heading is the 12.2.3 actually for the first statement is it is double stranded dna no right that is wrong it is radioactively labeled it is mentioned already in that statement the probe can be used auto uh, radiographically already used that statement here it is hybridized to complementary dna and rna exactly right so the answer is a the wrong statement is first right what will happen see here we use the single stranded dna or rna and uh, in that statement it is stated that double stranded so that's why that statement is wrong right that statement is wrong so in these statements which one of the following considers wrong so that is the wrong it's single stranded now not double stranded right single stranded dna or rna which is tagged with the radioactive molecule which is called the probe it is allowed to hybridize to its complementary dna right to its complementary dna in a clone of cells right which is followed by the detection using the auto radiography right which is followed by the detection using the auto radiography so what will happen here the clone which is having the muted gene right the clone which is having the muted gene will enhance will hence not appear on the photographic film right because the probe will not have the complementarily with the muted gene right so that's why it is not visible uh, in the photographic film right now come to the next techniques that serves the purpose for early diagnosis includes pcr what is the full form of pcr that is polymerase chain 
reaction right that is polymerized chain reaction polymerized chain reaction right and the full form of elisa enzyme linked immunosorbent assay right enzyme linked immunosorbent assay so now these are the techniques which is used for the early diagnosis right which is used to serve and what is that pcr actually in recombinant dna technology it is the line of ncrt actually right in dna uh, recombinant dna technology that is polymerase polymerase chain reaction that is pcr and enzyme linked immunosorbent assay that is elisa are some of the techniques that serve the purpose for the early diagnosis the right pcr that is the uh, multiple copies uh, is formed here right and elisa it is also used in the aids as well right so these are the techniques right now come to the 18th question which one of the following protein right it is talking about the protein product has been used to treat the emphysema and what is that emphysema emphysema is a condition in which we can say in general language that is the damage of the lungs right what will happen here emphysema that is the decrease the respiratory surface due to the damage of the alveoli right that is a lung infection emphysema is lung infection that causes the shortness of breathing why because the people which suffers from the emphysema in that air sacs in lungs or which is called the alveoli they are damaged right due to the damage of alveoli the respiratory surface decreases and due to that the patient is not able to breathe properly see that that is the alveoli in which the air sacs are proper right but in that damaged alveoli there is reducing the surface area right that is reducing the respiratory surface clear so that's why in that case patient may suffer from the dyspnea as well right that is dyspnea difficulty in breathing clear now what will happen what kind of protein we used in case of emphysema to treat them its answer is alpha 1 anti trypsin what is this see here right alpha 1 anti trypsin that is in short it is known as the aat it's a protein that protects the lungs right that protects the lungs liver helps in the formation of that alpha 1 anti trypsin and if that aat protein aren't the right shape that means its shape is not normal right so they get stuck in the liver cells and can't reach the lungs right so some people have no symptoms and do not develop the complications in that case right so we use that alpha 1 anti trypsin to protect the lungs right which is uh, formed by the liver now there is alpha lactalbumin lactalbumin that means again it is a kind of protein right Lactalbumin is a protein which occurring in the milk of mammals right which is present in the milk of mammals and especially high in concentration in human milk right especially in high in concentration in the human milk it is native alpha lactalbumin which is also known as the whey protein right it is also known as the whey protein which plays a crucial role, uh, role in the lactose synthesis and has high tryptophan content which is an essential amino acid right that tryptophan is an essential amino acid right clear tpa the full form of tpa is tissue plasminogen activator right an enzyme which is formed in the body body that helps to dissolve the blood clots right that help to dissolve the blood clots it is a form uh, a form of this enzyme is made in the laboratory to treat the heart attacks strokes and clots in the lungs right so it is also being studied in the treatment of the cancer right that tpa is a type of systematic thrombolytic agent right it 
factor is a type of systematic thrombolytic agent split that word thrombo thrombus that is uh, clot that is the clot lytic that is lysis lysis that means the breakdown right lysis that means the breakdown clear so the that is the agent which dissolves the clots right and known as the tissue plasminogen activator right they are called the tissue plasminogen activators right so this is all about that tpa all these are the questions of free medicals so you have to learn it properly clear now come to the next which step of government of india has taken to cater to the requirement of the patent terms right patent terms and the other emergency provisions in this regard right so see at uh, in ncrt that is also given in page number 214 right in last paragraph what will happen here it is called the indian patent bills actually right the indian parliament has recently cleared that second amendment of the indian patents bill that takes such issues into the consideration including the patent terms emergency provisions and the research and the development initiates right so what are these patents patents are the whole soul right of the person who developed it right and without his or her permission no one can use uh, that uh, uh, formula right that is the formula of uh, anything to uh, to form a new and uh, to for uh, that is the formula of a new thing which is usable for the human races right and uh, beneficial for them so if anyone use this formula without permission of the person who uh, developed that formula right so that is called the uh, that is called the biopiracy na exactly right so these these are called the patents actually which are registered by that uh, person clear after uh, the submission of all the uh, papers and uh, research papers related with that right now come to the next according to the latest estimates how many documented varieties of basmati rice are grown in india that is 27 this is the exact data which is given in ncert see here in page number 214 that statement the basmati rice in distinct for its unique aroma and flavor and 27 documented varieties of basmati are grown in india right so rice in an important food grain right the presence of which goes back thousands of years in asia agricultural history right so there are estimated approximately estimated that is 2 lakh varieties of rice in india alone so the diversity of rice in india is one of the richest in the world clear and 27 documented varieties of basmati are grown in india right now come to the next rosie is a transgenic cow known to produce a type of milk which has all of the following characteristics except protein content is 2.5 g per liter correct human alpha lactobacillus correct more balanced diet than the normal cow milk for the babies correct was produced for first time in year 2001 no that is wrong so the answer according to that because exceptional case is asked here so the answer is the 21 clear so what will happen see that is also given in ncert in 1997 the first transgenic cow named the rosy produced human protein enriched milk right that is 2.5 g per liter right and that milk contained human alpha lactobacillus and was nutritionally a more balanced product for the human babies than the normal than the natural cow milk right so the year is 1997 that's why that statement is wrong because here 2001 is given right 
which one of the following indian plants have either been the patent or attempts have been made to patent them by western nations for their commercial use daffodil neem turmeric both 2 and 3 so the answer is both 2 and 3 because neem and turmeric both are uh, commercially used right now come to the next question repeated transfusion of the genetically modifying cell are required in sked right sked patients and in enzyme replacement therapy because first we have to know about this sked what is a sked so that is the severe combined immunodeficiency right what is a sked that severe combined immunodeficiency which is a group of rare disorders right which is caused by the mutations actually in different genes which is involved in the development and the functions of the infection fighting immune cell right so what will happen in that case immunodeficiency when they fight against the fighting immune cell infected these fighting immune cells so what will happen immunity gets suppressed right and in in that case uh, multiple disorders uh, enters inside the body right so transfuse uh, cells have been limited life span no right introduced gene has been muted transfused cells have a limited life span exactly right introduced gene has been muted no the gene required is degraded after 20 days of the transfusion exactly right so the answer is the four that is both one and three clear now come to the next the bacterium bacillus thuringiensis is widely used in contemporary biology as bio weapon bio insecticide bio vd side indicator of water pollution and we already discussed about the bacillus thuringiensis that is it acts as a bio insect insecticide right it acts as a bio insecticide so answer is 2 now that bacillus thuringiensis is the gram positive bacteria right which is used as a pesticide it acts on many plants feeding insects right which produces the toxin during the sporulation that blocks the gut of insects and kill them clear so this is the uh, that's why the bacillus thuringiensis is the bio insecticide right now come to the next Which one of the following is a transgenic plan? Flower sever, the uh, Meloidigny, uh, Echognitia, right? Then uh, uh, Elegans or the Oryza sativa. So simple. The when we talk about the transgenic plants, so transgenic plants is the flower sever, and what is this actually? It is genetically modified tomato, right? That flower sever is the genetically modified. tomato which was first commercially grown genetically engineered food to be granted right a license that flavor saver is the genetically modified tomato right it was first commercial uh, commercially grown genetically engineered food to be granted as a license for the human consumption right it was produced by the californian company calgene and submitted to the us food and drug administration which is called the fda food drug administration in 1992 right so the answer is a herodin can be extract from the transgenic plant and what is that herodin actually we know that herodin that is the uh, substance which Uh, dissolve uh, which uh, dissolve the clots of the blood or we can say it helps in the uh, it helps to maintain the viscosity of the fluid right so actually it is extracted from the brassica napus or brassil uh, bacillus napus bt brinjal bt brassica napus right so it is extracted from the brassica napus which is the transgenic plant right so first we have to know that what is that herodin why it is necessary so 
it can be extracted so it uh, extracted from the transgenic plant why herodin because herodin is a powerful anticoagulant right that means anticoagulant which acts against the clot right that means it prevents from the clotting that herodin is present in the salivary gland of the herodina that is leech right that is the leech which belongs to phylum annelida right which belongs to phylum annelida actually it is an inhibitor of thrombin right it is an inhibitor of thrombin thrombin is helpful thrombin uh, helps in the coagulation right first one is the fibrinogen second is the prothrombin second blood clotting factor prothrombin when get activated then it converted into the thrombin right so it converts that thrombin acts upon the first clotting factor that fibrinogen and convert it into the fibrin and uh, helps in the blood clotting right so that prothrombin is produced upon the enzymatic cleavage of the prothrombin clear so that's why that herodin is powerful anticoagulant right now that brassica uh, that brassica napus is the oil seed rape right or the canola which is used in the production of the oil and the livestock feed right that oil is extracted from that seed and is used as uh, and is used both as the food stuffs or in the products such as the candles the lipsticks the industrial lubricants etc right the transgenic herodin is obtained from the brassica napus clear so these all these are uh, this is related with the uh, brassica napus the transgenic plant and the herodin which is extracted from that right come to the next select the incorrect statement about the rna interference right what is that double stranded dna binds target mrna and initiate the rna i no agarobacterium vector is used to introduce the nematode specific gene into the host plant exactly single stranded rna binds target mrna and initiate the exactly right so they when we talk about the incorrect statement so only one is incorrect rest of the correct so the answer is one as we know that that rna interference is a biological process in which the rna molecules inhibit the gene expression or the translation by neutralizing the targeted mrna molecules that is the messenger rna clear history uh, historically that rna i was known by the other names including the co suppression the post transcriptional genes uh, silencing right that is pg uh, sorry ptgs and uh, quelling right so that's why that is the wrong because here the single stranded rna gets bind right to the target mrna and initiate the rna i right now come to the next come to the next question the nobel prize was given to andrew fire and craig malo for their work on rna interference on these this is the direct question so you have to just learn that that is nor habita habitides elegans right clear that uh, that nobel prize was given to work on that right come to the next infestation by tobacco bird worm right infestation by the tobacco bird worm and the army worm is represented by the bt toxin right these insects belongs to order Lat uh, lepidoptera this is the direct question right this is the direct question so you have to learn it the, the both of these that tobacco bird worm and the army worm belongs to the lepidoptera right come to the next one that is which one of the following is correct statement uh, related with the animal insulin it is just effective as human insulin over prolonged time no it does not elicit immune response ever wrong it can be orally administered to diabetic peoples no 
इंसुलिन नेवर एडमिनिस्टर्ड ओरली वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इट सो मेमोराइज इट प्रॉपरली राइट बट यस इट वाज एक्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द पेनक्रियास ऑफ द स्लॉटर्ड कैटल एंड द पिग्स राइट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज द फोर राइट दिस इज द लाइन ऑफ एग्जैक्ट एन राइट सी हियर that insulin used for the diabetes patient which was earlier extracted from the pancreas of slaughtered cattle and the pigs right insulin from animal source though cause some patients to develop the allergy and other types of the reactions uh, for the foreign proteins right so insulin consists of the two short peptide chains alpha a chain b chain and they are linked together by the disulfide bridges right so this is all about the insulin now come to the next injecting functional adenosine deaminase that is ada into the patients which lacking adenose de uh, adenosine deaminase gene blood cells may be considered as right so what will happen in that case that is called the enzyme replacement therapy right that is called the enzyme replacement therapy what will happen in that case see in enzyme replacement therapy it is a medical treatment which replaces an enzyme that is deficient or absent in the body right usually this is done by giving the patient an intravenous infusion that is iv of a solution which containing the enzymes right now in uh, what is that gene therapy why uh, it is not called gene therapy because it is an experimental technique that uses the genes to treat or to prevent the diseases right so in future this technique may allows doctors or the expertise to treat a disorder by inserting a gene or uh, into the patient cells instead of uh, using the drugs or the surgeries right clear so that is called the gene therapy now come to the next question the main challenge for the production of insulin during recombinant dna techniques was getting insulin into matured from from using dash and we know that the there is the development of the disulfide bonds there right so the answer is d4 clear formation of disulfide bonds is more typical by the uh, by using the recombinant dna technology right come to the next the technique used to detect the hiv in suspected aids patient in asymptomatic stage right two techniques is used here first one is the pcr second uh, in case of uh, diagnostic or in case of the symptomatic stage the elisa and was uh, to confirm that elisa we use the western blot test right so but in that question we use that asymptomatic in stage so the answer is pcr that is polymerase chain reaction right so the answer is 1 come to the next question the use of bio resources by the multinational companies and their organizations without proper authorization from the countries and the people concerned without compensatory payment right without compensatory payment right that is called the bio piracy right that is called the bio piracy that means right so that is called the bio piracy now there are some terms that bio piracy is also known as the uh, that bio piracy term is uh, coined by the pot money right to describe the practice in which that indigenous knowledge of the nature the origin originating with indigenous peoples right is used by the others for the profit without authorization without taking permission of that authorized person right or without giving any compensatory money or anything compensation to the indi uh, that indigenous people themselves right so that is called the bio piracy now there are some terms first one is that bio ethnics right what is that bio ethnics 
that is the study of ethical issues right emerging from the advance in the biology and the medicine right so that is called the bioethics that means the medical policies their practice in practices which is related with the practices what what to do and what to not do right so these are now come to the bioterrorism what is that bioterrorism as its name suggests bios that means by the using of any living organism right we misuse these organisms like the bacteria the viruses the insects the fungi the toxins all these things and harm to others right so that is a terrorism involving the intentional release right involving the intentional release and dissemination of the biological agents these agents are the bacteria the viruses the insects the fungi or toxins right it may be in natural occurring or we can say the human modified form right for example if you saw a series of resident evil right so in that movie what uh, what thing is uh, what is the focus uh, uh, that the name of that that uh, movie is based on that t virus right that t virus when enters inside the body right what will happen it dead the all cells except the uh, whole brain cell right the brain cell is uh, the brain cell works with little bit amount of energy right with little bit amount of energy but as we uh, we can say we made uh, zombies after entering the entering the t virus inside the body right so that it this kind of uh, this kind of uh, viruses bacteria practices over a human population which harm the whole human races right so that is called the bioterrorism right now come to the biological warfare or we can say the uh, bio in bio that bioterrorism the bacteria viruses insects use they uh, it is also called the biological warfare right that is bioterrorism bio weapons right so these agents like the bacteria viruses used as a bio weapon right to harm the humans and the animals or the plants whatever right clear so that is called the biological warfare which is also known as the bio weapon the vector come to the next question the vector which is used for the delivery of ada that is what is the meaning of that ada that is adenosine deaminase right cdna into the cells of a patient receiving the gene therapy is called agarobacterium no rheovirus no e coli no that is called the retrovirus right so answer is 4 even though even through the highest number of the varieties of this rice are found in india right which variety of rice was patent patented by the us company that is uh, for the basmati actually right so the answer is the three that is basmati it's not related with the sharbati sonara that is co 67 no larma rosa no that is related with only basmati that is that the line is given in ncert right so you have to learn it come to the next question which ingredient was present in higher concentration in gm rice that is genetically modified rice as compared to the normal rice or the usual rice which uh, which which was which was uh, which uh, was taken by us right in daily routine life so first one is protein second is the carbohydrate or starch third one is the beta carotene and fourth one is the sodium ions so the answer is beta carotene why uh that is uh, genetically modified actually rice right so when we saw that the patient suffer from the deficiency of vitamin a and due to that the uh, and we know that the vitamin a which is retinol is essential for the synthesis of uh, eye pigments essential for the synthesis of the biomembrane essential for the synthesis of the proteins as well right it indirectly helps in the formation of the protein as well right so what will happen uh the genetically modifying crop that is rice is the vitamin a rich right so uh, that uh, beta carotene uh, that beta carotene it gives the yellow or orangish color right and it is present as in maximum amount of the yellow orangish fruits vegetables right uh 
बीटा कैरोटीन इज ऑल्सो यूज टू कलर फूड सच एज द मार्ग्रेन क्लियर सो इन द बॉडी दैट बीटा कैरोटीन कन्वर्ट्स इन टू द विटामिन ए विच इज नोन एज द रेटिनॉल एंड दैट रेटिनॉल इज हेल्प्स इट हेल्प्स फॉर द गुड विजन एंड द आई हेल्थ राइट फॉर अ स्ट्रॉन्ग इम्यून सिस्टम एंड फॉर हेल्दी स्किन एंड द म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन्स राइट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दैट कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेलेक्ट the incorrect statement right or the incorrect match cry 1 ab related with the corn borer right bt toxin bitters clear cry 1 ac that is cotton boll worm right cry 2 ac cotton boll worm no right so the incorrect match or the incorrect statement is that right so the answer is 4 a doctor while operating on hiv positive right hiv that is related with a elisa or the pcr now patient accidentally cuts himself with a scalpel in order to confirm whether he has contracted the virus which one of the following tests should be performed first one is the serum analysis no urine analysis no blood analysis no that is pcr exactly that is polymerase chain reaction right we already discussed it in before uh, in previous questions right now come to the next disadvantage of porcin insulin in the diabetic patients what is that porcin that is the insulin which is ex extracted from the slaughtered cattle and the pigs right and that is called the pork insulin actually that is called the pork insulin so what will happen in that case that is allergic uh, it may cause the allergic reaction na right that is the disadvantage of the porcin insulin right so it may lead to hypercalcemia no what is that hypercalcemia split that word hyper that is increase right calci that is related with the calcium mia that is related with the blood so increase level of blood uh, increase level of calcium in blood is it right no right it may cause the allergic reaction exactly it is expensive not as much right it can lead to mutations in adults no so the answer is bombay that is two c that animal insulin is taken from the pancreas of the animals usually the pigs right when we take the pig then it is called the porcelain or pork insulin and when we take it from the cow that is called the bovine or the beef insulin right that insulin is purified which reduces the chances of insulin user developing a reaction to the insulin clear come to the next question that is enzyme used in elisa what is the full form of elisa that is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay which is used in the diagnostic te test of the aids right what will happen the endonuclease enzyme is used here no ligase no right peroxidase yes polymerase no so peroxidase enzyme is used in the elisa so now the question is what is the endonuclease endonuclease is a group of enzymes right that cleaves the phosphodiester bonds we already studied that in the chapter of processing right biotechnology first chapter that is process right principal and the processes of the biotechnology so it cleaves that endonuclease is is a group of enzyme that cleaves the phosphodiester bonds right within a polynucleotide chain and these endonucleases are capable of breaking the bond from the middle of the chain as well if it uh, break uh, the middle of the chain right so these enzymes are either specific or non specific to the sequence being cleaved right now come to the ligase ligase that means it joins something clear it joins something so that is an enzyme that can catalyze the joining of two large molecules by forming a new chemical bond right which is usually accompanying the hydrolysis of a small pendant chemical right uh, compound 
right so for example enzymes that catalyzes the joining of the co that cs carbon and sulfide that carbon and the nitrogen etc in general we can say the ligate catalyzes the following reaction when we uh, use the ligase enzyme here what will happen it forms that bond with that it joins like that clear so this is the ligate enzyme ligases right come to the peroxidase peroxidase is an enzyme which is found in the wide variety of the organism right from plant to the humans to the bacteria clear its function is to break down the hydrogen peroxide right its function is to break down the hydrogen peroxide which is one of the toxins which is one of the toxins produced as by product right by using the oxygen for the respiration clear so this is the peroxidase now after that the last one is the polymerase as we know that that polymerase an enzyme that helps in the synthesis of the long chain of the uh, polymers or the nucleic acids right so these uh, are called the polymerase that dna polymerase and rna polymerase are used to assemble the dna and the rna long chains right the molecules respectively by copying the dna template uh, using the base pairing interactions or the rna by half ladder replication right so these are the name of the enzymes and in that case in case of the elisa we use the peroxidase enzyme right now come to the a probe is used in which stage of genetic engineering right it uh, that process is called the screening that process is called the screening now the question is what is that screening what is that uh, molecular that probe is that is the molecular uh, that is the molecule right so it is used in screening uh, stage of the genetic engineering so what is that screening see here that is the process that is the procedure of isolation detection and the separation of the microorganisms of our interest from a mixed population by using the highly selective procedure by using the highly selective procedures which are called the screening clear now come to the next which one of the following is not an application of genetic engineering in plants right in case of when we talk about in case of plants so nitrogen fixation is the process of the plants dna vaccines no resistance to glyphosate right a uh, production of insecticidal proteins in plants exactly so that dna vaccine is not the application of genetic engineering for the plants so the answer is that clear come to the next that is what is that dna vaccination why we uh, cancel that so see here that dna vaccination is a technique in the development that could protect against the disease by the injection with genetically engineered plasmid which contains the dna sequence right and encoding the antigen against which the immune response uh, is sought right so the cell directly produces an antigen which causing a protective immunological responses against them right so after just uh, uh, injecting once right our body use uh, you uh, our body use its uh, that antigen and form the antibodies against that uh, against the disease right for which that dna vaccination is injected inside the body clear now come to the next which one of the following genetically engineered microbe is used in scavenging of oil spills by digesting hydrocarbons of the crude oil right that is pseudomonas fluorescens no rhizobium melitloti no pseudomonas potida exactly trichoderma no so the answer is c 3 clear 
the diverse metabolism of the wild type strains of the pseudomonas protida may be exploited for the bioremediation right so for the example it has been shown in the laboratory to function as a soil inoculant to remedy naphthalene con uh, contaminated uh, soils right so that pseudomonas protida is capable of converting tyrin oil into the biodegradable plastic that is PHA, right? Clear? Come to the next. All of the following statements are correct for Bt toxin, but one is wrong, right? And which one is wrong? See here. Bt toxin is produced by the bacteria called the Bacillus thuringiensis. It is correct, exactly. That's why the initial is called Bt, right? Bt toxin are the protein toxin like the uh, thyroid and sporin which are active against the different groups of the insects correct bt toxin is harmful for the human no upon ingestion by susceptible insect the bt protoxin is converted into active form and kills the insect correct so the answer is c right because the in question ask that which one is the wrong statement right so that bt toxin is not harmful for the humans clear in that manner the biologic uh, in biotechnology and its application is whole it is covered with in the form of that these questions right thank you